Sodium amide, commonly called sodamide, is the inorganic compound with the formula NaNH2. This solid, which is dangerously reactive toward water, is white. But commercial samples are typically gray due to the presence of small quantities of metallic iron from the manufacturing process. Such impurities do not usually affect the utility of the reagent. NaNH2 conducts electricity in the fused state, its conductance being similar to that of NaOH in a similar state. NaNH2 has been widely employed as a strong base in organic synthesis, preparation and structure. Sodium amide can be prepared by the reaction of sodium with ammonia gas, but it is usually prepared by the reaction in liquid ammonia using iron nitrate as a catalyst. The reaction is fastest at the boiling point of the ammonia, minus 33 degrees Celsius. An electride, Na6, plus E minus, is formed as an intermediate, 2 Na plus 2 NH3 2 NaNH2 plus H2 NaNH2 is a salt-like material and as such, crystallizes as an infinite polymer. The geometry about sodium is tetrahedral. In ammonia, NaNH2 forms conductive solutions, consistent with the presence of Na6 plus and NH2 minus anions. Uses. Sodium amide is mainly used as a strong base in organic chemistry, often in liquid ammonia solution. It is the reagent a choice for the drying of ammonia. One of the main advantages to the use of sodamide is that it is rarely functions as a nucleophile. In the industrial production of indigo, sodium amide is a component of the highly basic mixture that induces cyclization of N-phenylglycine. The reaction produces ammonia, which is recycled typically. Dehydroalogenation sodium amide induces the loss of two equivalents of hydrogen bromide from a vicinal dibromoalkane to give a carbon-carbon triple bond, as in a preparation of phenylacetylene. Usually two equivalents of sodium amide yield the desired alkana. Three equivalents are necessary in the preparation of a terminal alkanes because the terminal CH of the resulting alkana protonates an equivalent amount of base. Hydrogen chloride and ethanol can also be eliminated in this way, as in the preparation of 1-ethoxy-1-butana. Cyclization reactions where there is no beta-hydrogen to be eliminated, cyclic compounds may be formed, as in the preparation of methylene cyclopropane below. Cyclopropenes, aziridines and cyclobutanes may be formed in a similar manner. Deprotonation of carbon and nitrogen acids Carbon acids which can be deprotonated by sodium amide in liquid ammonia include terminal alkanes, methyl ketones, cyclohexanone, phenylacetic acid and its derivatives and diphenylmethane. Acetylacetone loses two protons to form a dianion. Sodium amide will also deprotonate in diol and piperidine. Related non-nucleophilic bases it is however poorly soluble in solvents other than ammonia. Its use has been superseded by the related reagents sodium hydride, sodium bismide, and lithium diisopropylamide. Other reactions rearrangement with orthodeprotonation, oxirane synthesis, indole synthesis, chichibabine reaction, safety. Sodium amide reacts violently with water to produce ammonia and sodium hydroxide and will burn in air to give oxides of sodium and nitrogen. NaNH2 plus H2O NH3 plus NaOH2 NaNH2 plus 4O2 Na2O plus 2NO2 plus 2H2O in the presence of limited quantities of air and moisture, such as in a poorly closed container, explosive mixtures of peroxide oxides may form. This is accompanied by a yellowing or browning of the solid. As such, sodium amide is to be stored in a tightly closed container, under an atmosphere of an inert gas. Sodium amide samples which are yellow or brown in color represent explosion risks.